Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Sarah Christina. And if you're returning, welcome back. You know I love having you all here. For today's video, guys, I did a poll on Twitter asking if you guys wanted to see a spring makeup tutorial or just having fun and playing with makeup. And 60% of you wanted me to just play with makeup today. So if you guys want to grab your makeup and just have a little fun with some products that I haven't used in a while, um, then let's get into the video. First things first, you guys know I love starting with my eyes. So I'm going to go in with my Luscious Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Primer. I love this thing. It really helps with the discoloration on your eyes. And I find my eyeshadow lasts all day with this primer. It's really, really good. So how is everybody doing with all this craziness going on right now? Um, I hope everybody is safe and trying to stay healthy. Um, it's been hard having to stay at home and not be able to go and do anything, but right now we got to do what we got to do. But what are you guys doing to pass the time? Um, like, are you guys just hanging out at home watching TV? Are you guys reading a new book? Did you start something new that you've never done before? Let me know in the comment section what you guys have been up to and what you guys are doing to stay, I guess, active during this time. And I'm sending all my love to everybody out there. I hope you guys are all safe and healthy and will hopefully stay safe and healthy. This is a very hard time and I've never seen anything like this before. It kind of is a little scary. Um, I'm going to go into my Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette and I'm just going to take a little bit of Halo and Enhance at just to set my eyes. <laughs> um, for eyes today, I wanted to go in to my Maybelline Total Temptation palette. I haven't used this on my channel before. I actually don't think I've ever used this palette. But um, I asked my son and he said, why don't you use that one? So I was like, you know what? Why not? Because I haven't used it. And it is a very pretty palette. Like the two highlights in the middle are stunning. Like, and they're very, very pretty. Like that's beautiful, beautiful pigment. I'm just gonna swatch it here you guys oh, my sleeve would stay up oh yeah that's beautiful those are beautiful I also think though they would look so pretty on the eye so I'm gonna go in to this shade right here and I'm gonna start that in my crease and kind of just put it all over I don't want to go with anything too crazy on the eyes today talk about rude I'm going to go into a flatter, more precise brush now and take that darker purple and maybe a little bit of the black just to deepen the outer corner. But yeah, I was watching this on her and I was stunned. Like, I was also very upset at the whole thing. Like, I couldn't believe that she's doing this. But... Like, I feel so bad for that community to have. All right, now for my inner portion, I'm going to take a flat brush. And I am going to spray my brush. I'm using my Skin & Co. Um, spray. And I'm going to go into this beautiful shimmer. Look at that. Oh, that is just absolutely stunning so I'm gonna take that into the inner portion of my eye that is so pretty like that is so pretty I need a mirror <laughs> I can never find a mirror when I need it find this shade here is more like of a topper so I'm gonna mix it with the, this shade here mix them together and put that in the inner part of my eye and wet my brush so that it doesn't, there's not a lot of fallout. 
eyes and I also went in with my mascara. I went in first with my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara because I find it really distributes a lot of product and really just lengthens and makes my lashes full. And then I like to go in with the Revlon Volumazing on top because I find it just spreads your lashes better and gives them a little bit more volume and it just gives you this beautiful falsy look. So these two together are definitely a winning team. If you want a good mascara combination, this is definitely the, the way to go. Now for primer, I haven't used this. I thought this was, <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I really thought this was just a moisturizer. And then the other night, I was sitting here reading it, and I was like, oh, Touch of Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm Primer. See it? I was like, what? This is a primer? <laughs> Didn't I ever feel dumb at that moment? So I'm going to go in with my Glassy Touch of Soul Primer. <laughs> and I'm going to put that all over the skin. Because I really want to see what this is like under my foundation. I think I used a little more, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I put in too much. I want to go out and buy some new products to try on my channel for you guys, but I'm not quite sure what I should be getting, like what I should get. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Um, for foundation, I did take out two of them. Um, this is my Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protection Protective Makeup. This is in the shade 228 Soft Tan. This is more of my summer shade where right now, girl, I'm white. So <laughs> I also took out my Maybelline uh, Super Stay Foundation in 220 Natural Beige. So I think I'm going to go in with this one today just because my skin is a little light right now from winter. And I think it will be a better match. Plus, I haven't used this foundation in so long. It's just been sitting in my drawer like a lot of other products I own. <laughs> so let's put this on the face. And I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics uh, Royal Affairs brush. This is the number three. If you guys haven't tried BH Cosmetic brushes, I'm telling you guys, go try them. Not only are they super affordable, but they are so soft and they work so good. I find it blends out your makeup beautifully. And BH Cosmetics always has these sales where you buy a palette. Look at that. I love this foundation. It's like so beautiful. Now for concealer today, I think I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in medium sand. This concealer guys is so good. Now I haven't tried the hydrating one that they just came out with and I really want to give it a try. Um, if you guys have tried it, let me know what you think about it and is it worth it? Because I find this one's a little dry. Which is not bad, don't get me wrong, I love it. I'm going to go in with my Becca, I think this is my Becca Hydrating Powder. Yeah, Hydrate, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. And this is in, what, this doesn't have a shade? This is in I Don't Know Shade. <laughs> so I'm just going to set my under eyes with this powder. I love the way this powder feels on your skin. That cooling feeling is so nice. Like, I adore that. So I'm just going to take my, I guess this is my BoxyCharm um, brush, powder brush. And I'm just going to set the under eye with it. And I'm not going to bake. I'm just going to really just set the spots I need to set. And just pat it into the skin. I love this powder. I love the way it feels. I love the way it makes my skin look. Like it just gives your skin a beautiful flawless finish. And you can use it just under the eyes or you can use it all over the face. I use it all over my face most of the time. Because I find my skin just looks so pretty when I use this. Like do you see that? 
just gives your skin that beautiful flawless finish that you want it's such a good powder now another good powder that's a uh, way cheaper is the Maybelline fit me powder girl you want a good hydrating powder or drugstore powder that's super affordable and just works so good definitely pick up the fit me powder it is amazing amazing quality um, I'm just going to brighten the under eye a bit, so I'm going to go back into my Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette, and I'm going to go back into Halo and Enhance, and I'm just going to take a little bit of both, just like that. Such a good palette, like, do you see? Really brightens the under eyes and just makes it look more awake and alive. Love, love, love this palette. Now, I'm going to go into the same one and use the bronzer. So what I like to do is I just literally, I just go into all of them, just like that. <laughs> and I bronze the face. And I just take it in small circular motions and then I'll blend that in on each side of the nose. Gorgeous, darling. Just gorgeous. <laughs> All right, and for blush today, I'm going to go in to my Milani. Actually, you know what? I think I want a bit of a glow today on the cheeks, so I'm going to go into my Milani uh, Bellissimo bronzer. Oh, wait, sorry. Bellissimo bronze is what it's called. <laughs> this is their baked powder blushes. Guys, these are so pretty. So pretty. Look at that. Ugh. It gives your skin such a beautiful glow, and it's just such a beautiful pinky, peachy, pinky, peachy blush. Like, and they're so pigmented. Look at that. Take some on the cheek, and then I like to brush it back. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I really, really love their blushes. I find Milani is one of the best drugstore brands out there like they're just their products are unbelievably amazing I like to take a little bit on the nose so then you got that sun-kissed look I'm just gonna blend that out beautiful do you see that it gives your cheeks this little bit of a glow but it's such a beautiful peachy beautiful look <laughs> now I'm also gonna go into their Milani um, this is their powdered blush in tea rose and I'm just going to take a little bit of that and I'm just going to tap it onto the cheeks just so you got a little bit more. Now if you're someone that doesn't like a lot of blush then you just want to go in a little light handed but I don't know lately I've just been loving the blush. I think it looks beautiful. <laughs> so for my under, I'm just going to do the under eye quickly. And I'm going to go into the palette. And I'm going to go into that darker purple. And I'm just going to put that on my under eye. And go one side to the other and blend that in. It's such a beautiful shade. This is actually a really good palette. You got great pigmentation. It is a little powdery, but it looks so good on the eyes. And it just, it blended out easy. It gave a beautiful eye look. Like, I can't wait to try this side. So, like I said, if you guys want to see this side um, in a tutorial, let me know. And I will do that side also. Um, I think I'm going to keep with the palette and go into this purple highlight and see what it looks like on the skin. So I'm just gonna take my e.l.f. fan brush. Let's see, and put it on. Ooh, that's actually really, really pretty. And it's not too purple on the skin either. I think that's gorgeous. Oh yeah, that is stunning. That is beautiful. It doesn't leave a cast on your skin either. It's just a beautiful glow. I really like this. It's not too chunky either. It's just, oh, that's gorgeous. 
I really, really enjoy this palette. Have you guys tried this? If any of you tried this palette, let me know your thoughts on it. Because I'm loving it so far. <laughs> I think it looks stunning and really beautiful. That looks so gorgeous. I'm just going to take a little bit of my Skin & Co. spray. And spray the face. I'm going to go into my Revlon mascara and just do the bottom lash line. Or the bottom lashes a little bit. Gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. Except for that little spot there that I just screwed up. But that's okay. <laughs> Alright, now for lips, I'm going to go into my Essence Lip Liner and just outline the lips. I love these liners, they're so creamy. So easy to use, and they're so, so affordable. I think I paid $2, and it's just so stunning. Um, and for lips, I'm going to go into my Lip Fusion Micro Collagen Lip Plumper. And this is in the shade Bare. Um, I got this at Shoppers Drug Mart, and oh, I love it. You do get that little bit of tingle on your lip, but it's not overwhelming where you can't stand it. It's just a little bit. And you get a little bit of that minty taste feeling. I really enjoy it. See? Just gives your lips that beautiful color. A little bit of a shine. And it's not sticky. It's not over glossy. It's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright guys. So this is... Ooh, can get this off my head. This is the final look. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. Um, I actually do really like the way this looks under my foundation. It really gave my skin a little bit more life. And just looks a little more glowy instead of just matte. Oh, sorry. So if you guys haven't tried this, give it a try. Because I think it looks really, really good as a primer. Um, this palette really, really surprised me. I think it looks gorgeous on the eyes. And it really just super easy to use. Like I said, you got your four options here to do an eye look. Which, it came out so pretty. The highlight is gorgeous. And then I can't wait to use the side. It sucks I don't have that shade there. But I still can't wait to give the side a try and see what it's about and see if it's as good as the other side. So like I said, if you guys want to see this side in a tutorial, let me know down below. If there's any other videos you guys want me to film, let me know, guys. I love hearing from you and I love respond responding to you guys. So if there's anything at all you guys want me to do, please let me know. If you guys aren't already, hit that subscribe button and join the family. You know it would mean the world to me to have you guys all a part of our fam jam here. Also, hit that notification bell so you're notified of all my upcoming uploads. And if you guys like these types of videos where we just grab some makeup and play with it and just have some fun, give this video a big thumbs up so I know you guys are enjoying them and I will film some more. And I hope you guys are being safe, keeping healthy. And staying close to your loved ones. I love you guys all so much. I hope nothing but the best for you all. Paint the sky.